Hi everyone. The purpose of this video is to show you how to enter an assignment in Sapphire. When you first log in, you'll come to the screen similar to what we have here. We, have, we may have a few more choices than you do, but you'll definitely have uh, SIS and the Learning Management System. You're going to click on Learning Management System, and when you do, your screen comes like this. You'll want to scroll down past the announcements for the day and pick the course that you want to enter a grade in for. We're going to drop this down. For today's example, we're going to choose uh, a writing grade for Mrs. Rodloff's class. So we're going to click on that. Uh, and we're going to choose her grade. The reason why all five of the fifth grade teachers are listed here is because they were team teaching last school year and that, that remained in the system for Sapphire for this school year. So I'm going to click on Bethany's class and then I'm going to go to her grade book. We did already put a sample one in. Uh, we did leave some grades blank, but we'll explain that later and what should and shouldn't be done with those blanks. Alrighty? For now, though, we're going to enter in a new, or I'm sorry, an additional sample grade. I'm going to go up onto under my class, and then choose assignments. Alrighty, this assignment is going to be called. And notice the grammar quiz one pops up. Whatever you had recently put in there might pop up, and it's kind of nice because you could click on grammar quiz one and then change the one to a two if you have something like that. So it makes it Sapphire tries to make it as easy as possible when you're entering things in. Alrighty, but for now this one is called, going to be called D O L quiz one. Now. In the assignment name is where you want to might have a lengthier name of your document, or I'm sorry, uh, of the assessment or the uh, assignment that you're putting in here. Alrighty, the assignment code is something shorter, like what we have there, QZ1 or GQ1. QZ would be just for quiz one. GQ1 would be uh, what we assigned to her first one that we had entered in for her called uh, grammar quiz. Okay. Uh, this is where you want to have a, a, each assignment has a unique code, uh, and you want to try to keep it short, and I'll show you why that's so uh, once we get back out, back out into the grade book, okay? But for now, we're going to call this DQZ1 for uh, the DOA, DOA, I'm sorry, DOL Quiz 1, alrighty? Uh, I do believe she told us that this assignment was worth 26 points, so we'll put in that. Alrighty, we're going to scroll down a little bit. You can enter in an assignment description if you want something lengthier for your own purposes. You're more than welcome to put that in there. You would also set the date that you're assigning it. Maybe you're given a, a week for students to get this done. Uh, for now, though, for this example, we're just going to leave those as, as September 10th for both of them. If you have extra credit, you're more than welcome to put that in there as well. Alrighty. For right now, we're going to uncheck the box to uh, make visible to parents and students. Most of the time, you're probably going to want to leave that checked in there, so then students will be able to see their grades and parents will be able to see their, their child's grades right away. We're unchecking it just to not panic some students and, and make them wonder why they're getting these grades. Alrighty? Okay. After you're done putting all that information in, you're going to click on the disk at the top at the left-hand corner. It is vital that you put that or click on that disk. That is how you save the different uh, assignments that you put in. So I'm going to click there. Okay. And you'll notice now on the right hand side of the screen, we now have two assignments that are uh, in Bethany's writing grade five uh, category of her report cards. Alrighty. I'm going to go back to the grade book now. Oops, I'm sorry, my class in the main grade book. Under my class uh, menu, drop that down and choose the main grade book. And you can see the additional grade now. Alrighty. Uh, stay tuned. Our next how-to video is going to be a further explanation of entering in the grades uh, and what you should and shouldn't enter in for incomplete grades or uh, zeros and so on. Okay, but that's it for this one. Hope this helps.